Hey guys, it's Stacey with Chapter 6 and today I'm reviewing another book for you guys. It is Perfect Chemistry by Simone Alcalaz. I know, a lot of people have read this a long time ago, but I just recently read it. So if you're somebody who is on the same boat, then I think this review will be helpful, helpful to you. This is the first book in the Perfect Chemistry series. Now, I'm really not sure if this is considered a series. It is on Goodreads because I'm pretty sure the book two and three are companion books. It's in the same world, but it's different characters. I would like to start this review off a little differently. I want to talk about this cover. Bam! Look at that cover! This is one of my favorite covers, if not my favorite. I don't know, it changes from day to day. But I love how simple it is, and yet it speaks so much. It's just two people looking lovingly into each other's eyes, and that's it. They didn't go cheesy with this cover with the girl and the big dress and all that other crazy stuff. I just love this cover. I love it so much. You probably already know what this book is about, but I'm going to tell you about it anyway. There is the North Siders and there's the South Siders, and then they don't really get along. These two sides of town are very different. They're very different culturally and financially, and they all these kids from both sides go to the same school. So our two main characters characters are Brittany and Alex and I say they're two main characters because this book is told in every other person perspective and I love books like that. I love getting to see the, through the eyes of the different characters is one of my favorite type of books to read. Brittany is like a rich Caucasian girl and Alex is a poor Latina boy and one day in lab chemistry they become partners for the year. That's all I'm going to say on the story wise but I do want to get into the hype around this book. Obviously, I'm one of the latecomers to this book. This book was very big back in the day. I say back in the day like it was a long time ago. But everybody read this book. Everyone raved about this book. And the thing about that is, if you are not one of... Let's, let's get personal here. If you are not one of the people who jump on the bandwagon like immediately before you hear a bunch of stuff about a book... Nine times out of ten, the book will be overhyped for you, and that sucks. And then when you finally do get to it, you're just so over it. It's so overhyped. And it's just awful, because the story might be really, really good, and you can see why everyone was obsessed with it when they first got it. But then when you read it, you're like, ugh. Oh. This is just not what I expected it to be. I was really, really scared that that same thing was going to happen to me with this. That did not happen. I loved it. I love Simone, Simone Alcalaz because of this reason. There's certain subject matters that have been written about so many times that it's almost impossible, I would say, nowadays to write about that subject matter without going cheesy or without becoming cliche or without your reader just cringing at you using certain phrases because they're just so overused. She did an amazing job with it. It was the first romance where I don't feel like I cringed one time. Now, usually when I say well written, I would give you a little taste of what I'm talking about in the writing style. I can't do that with this because her writing is not good in the one-liner sense to where I could read you a passage that would sum up her whole writing. Her writing is good in the overall picture sense. Like, Here's this beautiful puzzle that she's put together, and as you see it as a whole, you're like, wow, that's really well done. I will go ahead and play To Read or Not To Read, where I ask you a series of yes or no questions to see if this book is particularly going to be for you. So, I've had had a couple of complaints that they have been spoiled. Some people have been spoiled. If you're somebody who does not like to know anything about that, the, a book, don't play To Read or Not To Read, because there is small spoilers in it. I mean... One of them is on the cover. I mean, if you're... Spoiler alert! Don't look at the cover! Anyways, uh, I'm glad that you guys are liking the Read to Not to Read because I really like doing it. I think it's a lot of fun. Question one. Do you like interracial couples? I mean, come on. that that's, There's a picture of an interracial couple on the cover. Do you like romances? Are you in a reading slump? Do you like different perspectives from different characters? Did you want to read this book before you watch this video? So I got four yeses, one no. My no was, um, are you in a reading slump? I'm not currently in a reading slump, but, so obviously I would have liked this book, and I did, I really like this book, to get to the other two books in the series, which also have beautiful covers, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Yeah, guys, so this was Stacey for Chapter Chicks, and I hope you enjoyed my review. Bye, guys.